Harwitz's inspector general report was due to be released literally any time this month. With the appointment of U.S. Attorney Durham out of Connecticut that's now overseeing this entire probe of what led to this investigation, what irregularities have taken place during this investigation, how all of this started, the FISA abuses, all of a sudden witnesses are becoming available. So reluctant witnesses are now willing to talk. One witness uh, outside the Department of Justice and FBI started cooperating, which they view as a breakthrough uh, this came after the Attorney General ordered U.S. Attorney John Durham to lead a separate investigation into the ar uh, origins of the Bureau's crossfire hurricane, which, of course, was the beginning of the Russia probe. What's very important right now is to understand that all of a sudden, in the last hours before this report is about to go public, we now have this release of uh, a statement saying it's going to be delayed some. Why? Witnesses are coming forward. It says, reluctant witness says... Key witnesses sought for questioning by J Justice Department IG Michael Horowitz early in the investigation to alleged government surveillance abuse have decided to now come forward at the 11th hour. So as you said, Dad, right before this report, we were expecting initially May, June, now we're into July. Now it makes sense why this report has not yet been released. You've had a number of witnesses. This is not just a single witness, but a number of witnesses and, and said at least one of these witnesses was outside of the department and FBI right. and that a breakthrough came because of, as you said, when the attorney general appointed a U.S. attorney who had prosecutorial power, that means the power to subpoena, the right. power to, again, bring charges if necessary, the power to grant immunity or waive immunity, uh, suddenly these individuals, uh, I think, felt the pressure that they should first take the step, I'm sure Durham encouraged them to, to testify to the give their testimony to the inspector general right. and then allow him to see the full report. But this is a number of new people coming forward at the 11th hour. I mean, you talk about very number of actors in the deep state. So all of this now has to be corroborated. Obviously yeah. just a statement alone is not enough for a prosecutorial action. But what this tells you is that the investigation into the origins of this crossfire hurricane, the investigation of the president, the appointment of Robert Mueller, all of that's being reviewed right now to determine what exactly happened here. You remember the Attorney General Bill Barr said quite clearly that he was concerned that spying on a campaign, he didn't mean it pejoratively, but spying on a campaign is a big deal. He had to make sure there was authority to engage in that intelligence gathering, if you want to call it that way, to be a little bit more politically correct. But nevertheless, now you've got the Inspector General saying, I'm about to issue my report, but I've got more information coming to light, so i got to hold on to that report a little bit because there's more information here than's meeting the eye. In other words, more information I have to include in the report that Durham's going to want to see. That's the U.S. attorney handling this. I'll tell you what this means. The truth is about to come out. It's going to take some time here, but the truth of what started this entire mess is about to come out, and people will ultimately be held accountable.